wants to lower the tax threshold on casino and lottery winnings by half. 22 News is looking at what potential economic impact that could have on gamblers, states, and big casino business. Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 530. I'm Matt Karen. The IRS wants to take more of your casino winnings. 22 News reporter David McKay explains the proposal to force more gamblers to report what they win. Massachusetts is currently the only state that taxes gamblers if they win $600 or more, but it could become the same across the nation. If you win more than $1,200 at a casino in any state other than Massachusetts, it's reported to the IRS. In Massachusetts, if you play the state lottery and win $600 or more, you'll be taxed. Definitely affects your game because on the back of your mind, of course, you're going to be thinking, you know, I win just a little bit of money and half of it is going to be pretty much taken away. This past summer, the Massachusetts Gaming Commission asked state lawmakers to raise the tax collecting minimum to the federal requirement of $1,200, but it may be irrelevant if the feds get their way. The IRS proposal suggests that people report their winnings at the casino at $600 or above instead of the $1,200 that it is now, whether they be playing bingo, keno, or the slot machines. And they're giving the casino industry a 90-day period to voice their opinion on the regulations. The American Gaming Association sent 22 News this statement. Not only would this potential policy change create additional burdensome and unnecessary reporting requirements for gaming companies, but it could cost states millions of dollars in revenues that support vital public services. I really don't think it matters. It matters. If you're going to go to a casino and gamble, you're going to gamble. It doesn't matter how much you win. You're hoping you win. You're hoping for the best, but prepared for the worst. So, I mean, I guess it depends if you win. Then I would think about it. Others believe it would have an impact, especially for MGM's resort casino, that has recently began construction. They haven't even built the casino yet and they're already planning on taxing people. I think it's going to be a big effect on whether people are going to go there or not. The American Gaming Association says some proposed changes from the IRS could be helpful, like players having a single-day form to report their winnings. Live in the newsroom, David McKay, 22 News.